Hey everyone, Brent Wessler today wanted to give an update on the document intelligence AI framework from Microsoft Azure, uh, specifically uh, at the 3.1 version. I did a quick post of what's new, but I wanted to kind of dig in and show you a few of the analyze options, as well as the ability and new support for additional languages for neural based model building. So I wanted to actually show the analyze options. You're gonna notice here in the 3.1, you have these add-on capabilities. They are charged uh, essentially the $6 per thousand. You'll see that in the new pricing here for add-ons as they're called. So $6 per thousand applies to these add-on high resolution font and formula capabilities. Um, so as you'll notice here, when I process the document, you can see in this case, a prescription record for search line anxiety medicine you can see that uh, it incorrectly gets that so the analyze option by enabling high resolution where you do have to enable additional charges again um, run analysis and you'll see that we can get better extraction capabilities utilizing the high resolution capability so search line um, it's uh, now reading that and 25, which is 25 milligrams, and it was able to extract that information with better accuracy than uh, the the base form recognizer document intelligence. Uh, here's another example of use, utilizing formulas. Um, you'll notice on the right here when we did a form recognizer, X selection marks tables, there's nothing that says formulas by enabling the formula create capability for scientific type research, we can actually extract formula data, as you can see here, um, and pull that out in string format versus, uh, as you saw before, there wasn't that capability to actually pull this information out. Um, so the new formula capability is great. Anytime you want to extract formulas from, from text or even handwriting, information from the documents and you can see how well it, it actually extracts that information and pushes that in the JSON export and the response that it gets. OK, so a couple other things in terms of uh, neural versus template learning that's come up a lot. Um, neural is essentially the ability to uh, support semi-structured and unstructured documents uh, in the 3.1 version. There's now 47 languages that it supports. Uh, custom neural models can generate uh, and generalize across different formats uh, in a single document type. So like if you had a lot of different types of checks, um, but you only wanted to capture and model checks, um, neural modeling is going to be best. Template is when you have a consistent visual template and uh, to extract the label data. Um, so, uh, you know, those are going to be better for your, you know, your more form based type scenarios. Um, so in this particular case, when we go in and we look at a particular training set and we hit the train button here, you're going to notice that we have the option for a build mode of neural versus template. Neural is going to take a lot longer. Template finishes very quickly. And what I've seen is that the neural is going to be quite a bit more forgiving as it relates to the placement of certain data extraction zones, as well as the ability to, um, you know, uh, find uh, instances where there might not be a key value pair. However, there are several limitations. So could, there is no ability to extract information that might split across pages. So custom uh, model building, whether it's neural template, isn't going to provide pagination if there's following table rows or if it rolls from one page to the next. Um, you can only train in English. However, uh, it does support, again, those 47 languages, but those uh, additional languages would cause the model to take a little longer to build. And the neural is limited to 20 build op operations per month. And I will say that when you do build a model and you select one of these here, you're going to notice that the model is using a specific API version. 
Um, so when you go and you actually, this is deprecated, meaning that version is deprecated, which is usually three months after the next version, you have to go in, you can see what version it's actually using. You'd have to go in and rebuild that model. So that is one way that Microsoft makes you maintain the model for uh, the new API versions that are coming out. So when they do deprecate that version, that model becomes no longer usable. So that's a couple of different scenarios uh, leveraging one, the new add-on features and the pricing that goes along with that. Uh, two examples of how we use the formula and the high definition OCR capability to read uh, things that the document intelligence engine couldn't before. And again, that adds some additional uh, costs, $6 per thousand, um, which is significant for, uh, you know, a, a, a custom model is usually uh, $50 per thousand. This adds an additional $6 per thousand. So thanks for uh, watching today. This is what's new in the 3.1 AI document intelligence framework for Azure AI. Thanks and have a great day.